Hey guys, what's up? It's time, finally. CVC, personal CVC is around and I thought it was a great time. No time like the present really to go ahead and summon Mikage. I finally got all the pieces, all the champions, the epics, the legendaries that I needed in order to be able to finally fuse the quote unquote free mythical champion Lady Mikage who has been really running hands for me in Live Arena. Really kicking my ass here. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for waiting to uh, watch me summon this. We're going to start putting all our epics together in here. Pretty sure everybody's already oiled up. I mean, sorry. Um, what do you call it? Uh, ready to go. We're just going to go ahead and fuse Tatsu over here. Oh, we have to level them up. Does this angle look weird? Let's go ahead and... Uh, let this guy get him ready, I mean. Okay, so Makage is ready on this account. Got Tatsu there. Let's go ahead and fill this guy out here. Makage on this side. And we're going to fuse these two, and then I'll just max them out real quick. There we go. Two legendary champions. Wow, look at that. That one's new. Wow. All right. In the tavern, let's go. Can we just... Is there a max out option? I thought there was a max out option. I guess not. Okay. Ascend. And then we're going... Oh, instant upgrade? Can we instant upgrade? Oh, I guess it asks us to... Oh, well, let's we'll go with that. Max them out here. And we'll use these guys as... Max out again. It was a long journey. And now, all of a sudden, all the champions that I needed are showing up left and right. Figure that. When I needed them, they weren't around. But now that I don't need them, they uh, won't stop showing up. Kira's in there. Let me throw you in there. The werewolf was one I was waiting for for quite some time. Last one over here. And let's max this out. So... As I'm doing this, you guys got to let me know, how are you using Makage? I've seen people use her in Arena, obviously, in Live Arena, kicking my butt. But what about other places? Are you guys using... Actually, no, I've seen somebody use her in Hydra. Are you guys using her in Hydra? How do you? How should I build Makage? I haven't really seen anybody's build because I didn't want to spoil it or ruin it for myself. Kind of wanted that surprise to be for me. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, well, maybe I should not make a mistake and ask you guys for your um, insight, for anybody who does have Mikage already. All right, so here we are, the awaited moment, double Mikage, one, two, three, four, here it is, and boom, check that out, wow. All right, guys, the first, my first, uh, first mythicals on both of these accounts, that's crazy. I'm super excited that there and, and 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 it's gone and it's gone super gone all gone let's go ahead and max out makage real quick my first mythical champions so makage there makage here oh you know what i should book them out too since i've got books for them as well so let's go ahead and we'll actually we'll save this for oh you know do they come out at level 60 they come straight out the womb. She comes out straight out of the womb at level 60, right? Is that it? Yeah, look at that. Instant upgrade. And then you can get it too, Mikage. And then let's go ahead and fully ascend. Max out, max out. Boom. I'm excited to start using her. And she requires books. I've been saving books because I don't have anybody else. Is it... Is it books? So I only four books, but I thought she had more skills. Wait a minute. Do I have to click the? Oh, that kind of like fucked up, really. For them to be able to have you. Oh, she looks pretty cool. Oh my god, look at that. When she changes, that's sick, bro. Yeah, it's kind of messed up that they have you uh, book both sides but i mean i guess it's not really because it's is it the same like how many uh how many books is it was it in total one two three four five 
and then see over here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. That's not bad. So all in all, uh, wasn't really uh, wasn't really that much in terms of um, what do you call it? Uh, books because it's still a total of like two or i guess oh you know what i forgot to go into channel two that would have been so cool to have like both of them show up right here because it says brutal slayer lady makage but imagine two but yeah um so the way that i see me building makage is probably really fast now i don't really know her skills too much because i, I haven't seen um people do videos on her but let's go ahead and take a look um if you want to hang out with me and figure this out on her base form attacks one enemy with one random ally from the shadowkin faction so somebody like ninja i'm thinking even let's see who else do i have from shadowkin faction i guess it's an ogre but i don't really use her michinaki as uh, hits pretty decently as well as HP burn, but he also kind of already joins in attacks sometimes. 50% chance to team up and join the ally attack. What about here? Ninja, Karato. Yeah, Karato is a decent hitter. Probably throw them in with uh, Yumiko because Karato and Yumiko work together. Whenever she dies, instantly grants Karato a turn. Resets the cooldown of his skills. His 8-2... Sorry, his A3 hits pretty decent as an AoE, plus the block active skills, and then this hits pretty hard too. So if you kill somebody, then it resets, and then you can use that again. It's a pretty nice move here. And then Yumiko will um, get this one right here. Whenever a Veil or Perfect Veil is placed on an enemy, 75% chance of stealing that Veil or Perfect Veil happens before the buff is placed on the initial target, only available when Karato is on the same team. Riho, I think, hits pretty decently um, with her... I think it's her A1? There's one of the moves she does that hits pretty hard. I think it might be this one, right? Because it then attacks this one. This one hits pretty decent, especially after you place all of these, and then you attack. Who else do we have? I got Riho for days. Only three days. Yeah, there's not too many other champions I can I can think of. Uh, you know, I, I don't really pay attention to the epics anymore, but I guess you could use Genbo early on. And then Ninja's obviously a good choice. Uh, good multipliers on the A1 plus the decreased defense. I would imagine Ninja and Makage together in Hydra because he's already pretty good in Hydra as it is. Them together? Maybe? Maybe a full Hydra team of just Shadowkin champions? What about on my alt? Do I have anybody decent to go with Makage? Let me see here. Reserve. And factions, we're looking only for Shadowkin. Anybody here? Oh! Oh, yeah, Harima! Dude, on this account, it's about to go nuts. Because Makage and Harima are going to be fucking it up in Hydra, bro. She already does... Har Harima already like messes Hydra up and then I got a plus two ninja here so this is going to be pretty nice I'm, I'm excited to see what it's going to look like here I guess Jintoro would be decent is it only one ally it's only one right on the so I'm still here um oh one random ally from the faction from Shadowkin okay using their default skill places a shield buff equal to 10% of this champion's max HP on the lowest HP for two turns. Ally with the lowest HP. So maybe I got to build her with some HP. AoE on her A2 decreases the duration of all enemy buffs and ally buffs by one turn. Stone skin. Decrease that. I like how it says ignoring res too. I guess mythical champions can ignore res as well. Then increase the duration of all enemy debuffs and ally buffs by one turn. So I like that manipulation of, of uh, buffs and debuffs. Increase attack, increase damage on all ally all allies. That's huge. Then teams up with all allies. Wait a minute. So she does increase attack and increase damage. Then she does an ally attack. 
that's pretty big because on a four turn cooldown, now we're talking hard Fire Knight. But I'm already doing hard Fire Knight 10. But still, maybe I can go faster. Then this is a transform ability. Her passive at the start removes all debuffs from the ally with the highest attack. That's pretty good. And it's not um, subjected only to Shadowkin. It could be anybody. So if I go in with a... Uh, I don't know who's a... Uh, somebody I use on a regular base. Like uh, Georgian. If he gets a debuff. Which oftentimes he doesn't. Because he goes in with Necrit. Uh, Rodos. Well, I mean, Rodos usually goes in with Siffy. So never mind. Uh... Yeah, I mean, still, that's a pretty nice, nice passive to have. When she transforms, is she better? Let's see. I assume this trans. She looks sick. Like, it doesn't look like fire is gonna kill this one. She's got a little thing in the back. Her A one places sleep for one turn, decreases turn meter by fifteen percent. This is something that really messes me up in live arena. Really annoying ability here. Getting debuffed to go to sleep. And then having my turn. I, if I can't take a turn, I can't take a turn. Then I'm doing nothing. Then she slowly kills me. AoE, stun. This move messes me up too. Then decrease the turn meter of all enemies by 30%. So oftentimes what happens to me is I go into a fight against Mikage. This is part of why I started banning Mikage a little more now. Sometimes I, I banned her over uh, Armand's. Just because she goes so fast. Like, what's her base speed? 115? That's pretty high. Stun, decrease turn meter. Increase accuracy. So, Hydra requirements are going to be a little bit lower. Also removes all buffs from all enemies. Oh, Doom. This one is... Okay, so remove... Uh, uh, let's say Removes all buffs, then places weaken. So, I think this is still susceptible to sheep, no? Because removal is different than decreased duration. Like, I know decreased duration works well against stone skin because it doesn't proc sheep. I forget if this does. I think it does. Removal of all buffs. I think it counts. Same thing as um, Madame Serie. At the start of the champion's turn, decrease the turn meter of an enemy with the highest attack by 15%. Pretty cool. And these ignore res um, percentages here. Does that mean like I can build her with less res? I mean, I mean, it seems like like it would be a thing, right? So now maybe I should still build her with a decent amount of accuracy, but lean more towards speed. It seems like she just wants to go fast. But then again, I'd still want to be able to place these debuffs as well. Especially for Hydra. Although Hydra, there's nothing nothing here. Except um, maybe even because if we go here, you can't stun the Hydra. This might help, and then Weaken could help, but I kind of already have those things. What The first thing is, I already build my champions that place debuffs with, de with the accuracy that they need. So this isn't going to help too much. And um, I guess removal would, would help. But I usually have block buffs up. Weaken could help, but I already have Lydia or uh, Venus. And then you can't sleep, so maybe just... Keep her here so that we can keep ally attacking with her A3. That's pretty cool. Same thing with the A1 here. Get masteries for her too. 